All right, let's go into season three. Now, as it's come to an end, Chris Passport met to review our progress as well. We want to all our jets on the playing side, but we believe the team delivered a satisfactory performance. Oh, satisfactory performance. And we won the Champions League in a satisfactory. <laughs> Next season, play on. Play on. Ready to shine again. What are we working with for this season? 120. We could do a bit with that. We could do a bit with that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Palace career mode. We're in season three now. Season three. I was thinking I want to carry on with yet another season because I want to win that Premier League. We've done the Champions League. Done the Champions League. Move over to a more domestic title, and that's going to be the Champion, not Champions League. That's what we've already won. What am I going on about? The Premier League. So let's go on and build a team that can win the Premier League and hopefully in the same season domestic cup like EFL or FA Cup will be lovely to add to that as well. Got to semi-finals in season one of the EFL Cup but went crashing out obviously. So let's move over to a more um winnable team for that for competition. This is uh, this is what we have at the moment. As you probably can see from the beginning I did record how much money we have we have got or is it 125 basically million to spend on players with 181k wage budget? That will surely change throughout the thing because there's a, two players I'm looking to sell this season and use them to gain more money to sign players I want to sell. One of them is going to be Van Oot. Even though he's a lovely goalkeeper, he's a lovely goalkeeper. Like you've seen previous two seasons, he's got those little mistakes in him that cost him goals. He did when he shouldn't be conceding off these other spell. That Jack Butlin's joining Union Berlin. Way a 36-year-old goalkeeper, 76 rated. He's been class for the seasons I've been using him, but we need to get another goalkeeper. And then the other guy I'm looking at selling is where is it? Ivan Tony. He's been a good little backup for Edward from last season, but I'm honest, he's let me down a few times with um, scoring goals. So I'm looking at another good backup striker for Edward, even though we've got the likes of Scarlet's back from his loan spell away. Jocelyn, he's still, he's in my terms of thinking, Jocelyn is as good of a striker as Ivan Tony. Dude, him. FA Cup, he was class. He was class. But, um, good Jocelyn that was, but, you know, you just, you can't, I don't think I can rely on him to score constant goals, likes of Edward can do. So we're looking at trying to get another striker, and that's probably like 82 rated with better finishing than, um, Ivan Tony. Then I got 83. I, I'm looking at a goal striker. He's got 92 finishing. Talking about 92 finishing, let's go and look at two players that I'm going to pick up straight away. Seguo Un Aguero. And we were talking about finishing. 92 finishing. And then another guy that I'm going to pick up. People know me. Giudio Chiellini. I've got to pick him up. I can't not. They're both going to set me back. Not that bad to be fair on wages, so let's just jump straight into it. Signing the guy I'm gonna have to want to sign first, and that is Guero. Well, he was on thing wherever it else was for 220 signing bonus. I might have overpaid for him, but we've got a Guero, All right? And let's go for the other one, Giorgio. Chiellini. How can I not sign Giorgio Chiellini on a free in a career mode? He's straight in there. He wants rotation. That is fine, Giorgio. That is fine. <laughs> We've just got two absolute legends signed for us. 
Any other guy I want to go after as a goalkeeper is Lafont. Where is he? I feel like this is going to be the perfect goalkeeper I could sign. We go for a player swap. We go do Lafont. Offer a transfer fee of eight mil. Or should we do 12? Let's do 12. Might have overpaid as well, but we're balling. We're balling. We've got money. We've got money. That is indeed. Wages. Right. He's on 17. I think we can bump that up to 25 with a 120 signing bonus. That is a okay. That is a okay. Right, what we're what we're looking at right now? Filing, we're flying through these um, signings. Right, so we've got a goalkeeper now in Lafont. That's going to be changed to number one when Buckland goes in the next day, basically. So this is how we're looking. This is how we're fairing up. We've signed Lafont. We've got Keely. <laughs> we've got bloody Aguero. Who's gonna swap with 30? What well, old is he? 35 year old Aguero. I'm signing him just because it's Aguero and I got him for a year. We want to talk about Premier League winners. I did say I was building a Premier League capable winning team. He's probably gonna drop to like 78 raid, isn't he? 95 million for Wilfred Zahaji. I don't need the money, that's the thing. I might take you up on that. Delegate that. Start at 18. Don't go no lower. 13.5 and I might take you up on that. But 95 million for Wolf for a 30 year old 86 Wolf for Jaha. I, like st I still feel like it can be key. I still, still feel like he's going to be a key player for me. Get that. Let's reject that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now, that's an offer. That is an offer. 22 million Wolverhampton Wanderers. We get a bit more out of that. Uh, he's a bit much for him. Go nowhere lower than that. Right, another player I'm interested in. I feel like I do really like Conor Gallagher, but I feel like we can still improve in that sort of like right centre mid sort of position. We've got a good amount of players. I don't feel like I could have a player that constantly because I kept swapping between Barkley and him constantly. So yes, I like Conor Gallagher, but. I feel like I get someone better there, if that makes sense. So, I have got someone in mind. I feel like he can be a bigger team than here. And that guy is... Or should I just wait till my thingies are back? But I have been looking at Renato Sanchez. We played really well against me every single time I played against him, but I feel like he could take me that bit further, but I'm going to wait to scout report. But it looks like we've got our first game of season three. And I'm going to change up the team dramatically. Right, this is the team I'm going to go up against um, Boca Juniors with. Pretty change up. I've got Blake Grower. I've just signed him. He's going to be class. Let's get into this game. Have waited and wondered would it happen. Segro Aguero. I oh, haven't changed the kit numbers for um base the font. Number 40. Anyway. Alright, first game of season three. And pre-season against Boca Juniors. I'm better. 
been a good challenge. Oh, Robert won. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. Target We're out. Ah, we need to run on to that. Oh, Connor Gallagher, lovely. We're expected. Also, I'm playing Connor Gallagher. I'm gonna... I do really think I need to improve on that little spot there. Where he plays. Uh, still want to give him a chance because it's Connor Gallagher. Oh, the font, lovely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ref. Dirty. I'll be letting that happen from Boca Juniors. Do that, do. The font's doing a game, having a game already. Yes, the font. I'm just not controlling the game. It's Boca Juniors, boys. Come on. Once already had to make three good saves. <laughs> Only 24 minutes in. Yes, for fun. That's a ball meter. Aguera! Oh, blocked. I was going to do the Aguero! Deadheader, Mitra there. Deadheader. Right, it's not been the first half I was expecting, but it was the first five minutes I was expecting. Maybe literally just went ahead, literally straight away. But, we're we getting good balls into Aguero. We had probably one decent ball into him. Didn't really do much with it. Let's just keep it as it is. And we'll just move forward in this second half. I do want to bring players more into this game, like Alf. And that, you know, just give him a bit more playing time. That's all, that font's all there. Ball corner. Aguero! There it is. There he's gone. There's his goal. That I wanted. Look at the guy. Yeah, City loves it. Even though I know in real life he's had to retire because of um, respiratory, is it respiratory problems or heart problems? But he's still in FIFA. He's still doing bits. 92 finishing. Can't miss up on a free transfer of a guy with 92 finishing. Lovely. Let's go. Obviously, I know his fitness is going to be shocking. 36, 35, whatever. I mainly I gave him the year contract because I want him to retire. Quicker than possible. Of course I signed Giorgio Chiellini. He's me. Oh, Aguero. Aguero! Um, I just spoke about your night. Oh, it was close, it was close. I just spoke about your 92 finishing, mate. What foot is he? Yeah, look, look at that fitness already. Four star weak foot. Oh, he's not right foot, ain't he? Yeah, and you've done that. Oh, that's beautiful, Aguero. you got to finish that, mate. Aguero! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Obviously, before the season starts, I want to get rid of that 34. I'm going to keep him sort of the low number. Who's my number 12? Who's my number 12? I think it's Ross Barkley. Oh, that's one. 
Ah, that's a bad pass again. Right, let's make some substitution, boys. Um, right, what is Ferguson's pace like? Right, 80. Right, Ferguson, you're coming off. Um, Jello, I think you're going to come on as well. Yes, that. All right, we could bring on Elise as well. I leave that. No, actually, I want to give Jocelyn a go on the on the wide areas. Let's see what he's like on the wing. A really ball. The font. Aguero! He's not good with his left foot. He is not good with his left foot. His left peg is lacking majorly. Sorry, Aguero. You need a better left peg, mate. There you go. Four substitutions. They're making two. Five shots and only two goals scored. Oh, Lafont. Lafont, Lafont, Lafont. What a godsend. He already has pin signing in him. Just saving everything. Big strong hand. Big strong hand. Pass on Bella. Go on, Jocelyn. Go on, Jocelyn. No way. Has he not just hit? I told him to shoot. Why is he not heading that home? Oh, Mitra. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, Mitra. That's a ball from Howarth, though. Rare. If he just blocked off his run. Game, ain't it? RF, there you go, lovely, last little 3-0 for our first game of the season, in the pre-season. I've just noticed it hasn't been recording. Why hasn't it been recording that? So do apologise, first game of the episode, we're already getting hiccups. It hasn't been recording my signage of Renato Sanchez or, what was it, it was 50 million plus Ross Barkley. So we've got Ross Barkley in this game against Roma in RCM. Good ball to us. And there we go, there's his first touch and it's a header. And sort of half interception. And then we're going to try and knock this ball over the top. Two odds and Edouard to score a goal. This team is coming on beautifully. <laughs> Yes, Edward, he's back with that, baby. He's back with that. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball clean. Now, I don't know why it was... He's at least you got the game recorded. That's all, that's all that matters. Got the game room recording. Good job I checked. I looked down at my OBS and it's just not recording. Tackle. And a foul in the oh! That's a beautiful tackle. Yes, Renato Sanchez. Oh, Sanchez. That is dirty. Ow. Ow has Odson Edward not taken a nice touch there. Oh, Sanchez. Oh, Sanchez. <laughs> oh, my days. That's what I sort of want from a right centre mid. The guy's not scared to get forward. Because he's got he's on the Conor Gallagher role, what I've got going on here. He's a free roam. He's a free roam. Scores on his debut. Lovely. Save Lafont. Save. Why is Renato Sanchez the guy that's got to be in it? 
through all those guys in attack. Yes, and the third. I will fuse that pace, man. What's a shot from Edward there? Was that a first timer? I can't remember if I did or not. Yes, Edward. Never ever going to stop being my key striker in this uh, career mode. Just to touch, just to pull it into a nice space. Beautiful, beautiful, I tell you. Nice, nice. That's the thing. I need a backup striker that I can just rely on just to score. I totally forgot I've got Aguero. <laughs> I have signed Aguero in this career mode. So he is basically my backup striker. But I want someone else. I want someone else as well because he was a freebie. I'm just tearing through these ops. Op ops. Tearing through the ops at the moment. Right, should I make any substitutions? Guerrero has already gone down by one. But that's the thing, I didn't mind Renato Sanchez with the injury prone because we've got someone that can basically half do his job in Conor Gallagher. Yeah, just carry on as we are and just keep tearing through Roma. Kevin Mbappu and intercepts again. just dirty that I can just do this with Edward. It's just... <laughs> oh my days. He's just the all-rounder. He's tall, strong, he's got the pace, and he can finish. He's French. That's the fifth one. He's French. You know he's going to be good. Rui Patricio left stranded. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Get the ball and I think it's time to make some substitutions. We're on Aguero again. Let's bring on Lisa out wide. Let's bring on probably should make every single one. Overall, I'm gonna give Sanchez a full game. Um yeah, he... Nathan Ferguson for Sticky one, that is. Ah. And Miranda. There we go. There we go. Everyone is being substituted. In one go. Get there, Dennis. Get there, Dennis. The font. That's a ball. Oh, Miguel Alexi. That was a ball there for Miranda. Absolute ball. Wait, right, he was walking off and now he's celebrating. Look at that. At least say. Nice one, Nathan. We did win 5 0, but I was really trying to get Aguero, you know, a little chance to score, you know, constantly. What's happened to his arm? What's happened to Alton Edward? He wasn't visible that game for the other team, to be fair. This one, Renato Sanchez, the way he got his first goal. Yeah. Going against his Portuguese teammate. <laughs> That's lovely. That's lovely. I like that. Oh, I do. I like that. Oh, Tony sale agreement. Ooh.
we take those we take those 25 million i got river plate now Right, River Plate now, final game of the episode. We can use this team again. I don't really want to. I want to give it a sort of a mixture. Right, this is going to be the team I'm going to go with up against River Plate. Not my strongest I can go with. I feel like I do want to see more of these sort of players, I can at least say. Ferguson really impressed me when he came on against Rome, so I'm giving him another go. Bella's been class every time I've played him, so I'm going to play him. Aguero is Aguero. Do it. And Miranda has been with us since the beginning and he's been a very powerhouse in that midfield. He has. Yeah. Up against River Plate with this team. Hello and great to have the pleasure of your company. Our match today comes to you from the Estadio Presidente Peron. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we have more live action from the pre-season third group stage for you to look forward to. It's Crystal Palace and they take on River Plate. Yes, we do. Seems to be look looking pass. Pressing me so far. Um, over his faces again. No, oh, I've not got that to release there. Nathan Ferguson, that's it. Doing some nice interceptions. Play Guerrero. Oh, at least say, come on, better ball, man. Aguero. Yellow card. That was a goal scoring chance. Quite rightly so. It was a poor challenge. He was right to give a penalty to the referee, and he's right to give the yellow card. The There's no doubt. I got scared. I'm shaking for a second now. I thought Keeble was going to get to it. It is Guerra. Got to remember. It's Guerra. Well, as you'll see, the goalkeeper goes the right way, but he's got absolutely no chance to save this. This is the perfect penalty right into that. Love that. That's what we needed for the uh, second half. Be ahead. Reds really to prefer being all River Plate in our final third, but just I've literally done nothing with it. Besides the odd shot that's the font all over it. Oh. 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 I'm really enjoying this team right now. What I have put together, I'm really enjoying it. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And when he Lise's really coming into, into his own so far, this really this is the beginning of the season. He's coming into his own. A guy that I haven't really favoured. Through both one season one and season two, or well, FA Cup, I favoured him a lot in season one. But season, well, I think it's just since he done that beautiful play in Champions League final, he just know how he can play. So he's just doing it. That's oh, nice. Well, as you can see, Palace are struggling to control possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. I don't know even why I'd bother trying that ball. So far. Never going to come off. Zakaria. Here's Aguero. Where I could hold that guy off. Half, oh, that's the half. It's with are they going to get us a little chance here? Nah, nah. I'll be all over that. Yes, he is. Nice, good little first half. Absorb the pressure and just push it back to him, and then on a stupid tackle. That should have been you know, um, a red card, in my opinion, but the ref decided to give a yellow, and Guerrero was all over going to score that. Let's leave the wingers as they are, but I feel like I want to bring on. Do that. The midfield's been class. Should we should just leave it and then possibly bring off Eze. Yeah, let's do that. 
carry on. Dennis. Dennis. He need. Oh, oh. Ah, that's annoying. I keep need to remember in that. Guerrero's got no pace. Because of the 35 year old. Considering the current market, this has to be a real bargain. He's such a top player, and he will certainly improve their performances. Lafont. I bow down to you, man. I bow down to you. <laughs> it's got to be a peach of a rocket to be this guy. <laughs> he is broken beyond belief. I thought my Aguayo was good in there. Will he play it in? And he takes it on. Like that. He's got to be a peach of a rocket. <sighs> That's the first goal we've conceded. How did Conor Gallagher not get a foot to that? Right, substitution time. Let's just do it. Where are you? have scored your goal. Bring on Edward. And... That. Save Lafon. Let's get these substitutions on. I'm expecting another big final... Do my maths correctly. 25 minutes of this game for Renato Sanchez. It should just show why I've played the big bucks, big 50 mil for him. I keep passing to Lise late. Right. Bring off Gallagher. I want to give. Um, what's his face? A runabout. Get to him if I can. Go off. Do it. Give him a little fresh legs, fresh legs. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw in. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you again? They made a cut, that's why I got confused. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quick yeah, look the how close the is. On the, the volley as well. So well the On the half volley. What did I say about Renato Sanchez when I brought him on? Big half for him. Big half. Or well, final 25 minutes. And he just put the game to bed. But how did Renato Sanchez get ahead of Good vision. Can he get onto this? Offside, I knew he was. Yeah, how did Renato Sanchez get ahead of um what's his face? Elise. Okay. Love it. Absolutely love it. Just know if we can see that goal. Like I did say just before, it had to be a each of a banger to go past Lafont. And it was, it was, I give him that. Well, we have sold Ivan Tony now for 21 million, so we've got to find a third choice striker. And as he's not for sale, I do apologise. <laughs> what we sort of money we got now? 84 million. 84 million. Next episode, we're going to have the semi final and possibly the final of this South Africa Continental Cup. Until then, let's see. Adios.